I've been working remotely as a data analyst for over a year now, and I like that it gives me the flexibility to work anywhere at any given time. Though I'm home for the majority of the time, this week I'm in the New York area visiting my future in-laws as well as my friends. I'm Justin, and I'm a data analyst and a cinematographer. Welcome to a day in my life. I head into a WeWork in the city before my daily standard call at 9.30. If you don't know what a WeWork is, WeWork is a provider of co-working spaces, meeting rooms, and private office spaces with over 756 locations worldwide. Since I don't have an office to work from, I decided to get a single day pass to have my meetings in a quieter space as opposed to working in a nearby cafe. This WeWork provides over six floors of office spaces so you can work from different locations if you want a change of scenery. This space also provides free coffee, kombucha on tap, Wi-Fi, and other amenities that users are able to use. I usually look over my calendar and my emails to see if there are any immediate deliverables I need to do before I work on developing dashboards that have been assigned to me. At 9.30, I have my daily stand-up meeting, which is a meeting utilized in an Agile framework. In this team meeting, we go around one by one explaining what we are working on and sharing if there are any roadblocks. For example, if I were to not have access to a document or a database, I would share that here, so that one of my teammates can get me that access. Usually, these meetings don't go for more than 30 minutes. Today, I only have two meetings, so I will spend the rest of the time getting work done. To start developing a dashboard, I will need to look over the requirements I've gathered from the business stakeholder. This includes reviewing the datasets, the time period of the dataset, what kind of visuals they want to see, such as bar charts, line charts, and filters. Then I load in the dataset into a visualization tool and we're using Power BI by entering the SQL script that pulls in the specific data I want to see in the dashboard. After I pull in the data, I start building the dashboard. For example, in this specific dashboard, if stakeholder wants to see values over specific categories, a bar chart will be utilized. In addition, if they want to see values over a period of time, a line chart will be used and you can see here the salaries increase over time. Other KPIs can be added as well, which gives the stakeholder an easy view of important values they want to see. Finally, the dashboard is published and then reviewed by the stakeholder for any feedback and changes. After finishing developing some dashboards, I go out into the city for some lunch. I've been trying to eat healthy for the past month, and since the Mediterranean diet is known to be one of the most healthiest diets, I usually get a bowl from Kava. After getting Kava and sending back into my workspace, I take some time to eat and to look over my side projects. I've been a cinematographer for the past year, and in the past couple of months, I've shot my first two weddings. Shooting these two beautiful events were great experiences as I learned to be quick with my compositions as I only can shoot the moments once. This allowed me to develop my craft and also is a great opportunity to build out my portfolio and my website. I continue to touch up my website so any potential clients can see what I can do and also reply to any emails regarding inquiries and meetings. This has been such a huge passion of mine for the past year and it's served to be a huge outlet for me creatively. I hope to continue to shoot weddings and other personal projects on the side to grow and sharpen my skills as a cinematographer. After lunch and reviewing my cinematography portfolio, I pick up work again. I have my second meeting of the day and I go into one of the meeting rooms in the WeWork. This is the mentoring meeting that I have with another coworker who works on a different team. I have the privilege of working for him in my current project. During these meetings, we usually catch up and share what we're working on. He also gives me advice and career tips on how to navigate working fully remote and progressing in my career. He shared that in whatever project that you're working on, whether it's a higher intensity project or a lower priority project, it's to try to exceed the expectations of the stakeholders. That way you're able to gain the trust of the stakeholder and are able to receive new opportunities from that project you worked on. 
This will give you a lot of exposure to different people and different opportunities. So hopefully I can integrate this advice into how I work and it'll lead me to new opportunities in the future. After a couple years of working, I have learned the importance and the weight of networking. Though the skills and competency matters, your connections and your network will provide a lot more opportunities. That's why they always say to never burn bridges and to keep it always professional. After I have my one-on-one -on -one mentoring meeting, I start to work on my new project, which consists of managing metadata and lineages in the data tool called Calibra. Since my company stores a lot of data, it's important to map out and have the right definitions for each data field. Otherwise, people who utilize the data will have a hard time understanding the data itself. As a data analyst, it's important for me to not only develop dashboards for stakeholders, but also immerse myself in the data itself and take ownership of the lineages and business definitions that are found in each data set. So a tip for any aspiring data analysts out there, be open-minded to all the projects you're assigned to and complete them well. After working on the project for a couple hours, I check my emails one last time and figure out what I need to accomplish when I come back from the holiday break. I pack up my stuff and head towards my friend's place in Upper Manhattan. Because I've been living at home, it's been difficult to see my friends on a daily basis. Since most of my closest friends live in New York, I try my best to come up to visit anytime I can. This is Daniel, or Dan, or Himan. I call him Dan. He's one of my closest friends, and I'm super excited to have him as one of my groomsmen. Although none of this would have happened if he didn't give me a piece of gum during our class in database and applications at BC. It's crazy that our friendship started from that nice little gesture, and it was most definitely because I looked lonely. Dan is the type of friend who is so loving, encouraging, and charming. I could talk to him about anything. He was actually the first person who I showed my first video here on YouTube. Though he could have been mean and absolutely shat on it, he welcomed my first piece with love and encouraged me to pursue YouTube, and here I am, a year and a half later, making YouTube videos. I can tell you how hard it is being at home without my friends, but having these quality hangouts from time to time absolutely make it worth it. To finish out my day in the city, I ride back the subway and the bus to Aaron's place. idea just got back from the city just made some tea it's um such a cold day out in new york so I'm gonna wrap this day in the life i hope you enjoyed a day in the life a day in analyst and if you made to made through it to this video you're an og you're you're a real one so i appreciate you for watching this video and we're gonna watch some singles inferno just fire show on Netflix. So if I don't watch to the end, I'm not an OG. Even though I was... You're not a real one. One of your first subscribers. Okay, not not an OG. Not, not an OG. Not, not a real OG. one. Yeah. Yeah, stay healthy. I know there's a bug going around. Coronavirus, flu, this other respiratory disease. Stay healthy. Stay strong. Your and voice is so, um, what? like, low when you film YouTube videos. Me? You're like, <clears throat> I'm not trying to. Stay healthy, stay strong. <laughs> so I put some intonation in that. You want them to stay <clears throat> healthy, stay strong, everyone. Yes, exactly. Stay healthy, stay strong. I love you. And <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one.